Good morning, YouTube. We're gonna start the day off with another Reddit post from BSG. Um, yeah, they are clarifying regarding additional features of different EFT edition. So let's see what they have to say. Dear players, that's my PC, sorry. Dear players, we have come to the following conclusion regarding the list of changes and additions to the various editions of the game. Feel free to give your feedback. For owners of EOD edition, access to co-op PvE mode with persistent progression. Access will be given out in waves. We plan to start it tomorrow. All right, so tomorrow, aka 2nd of May, some of the people will uh, start receiving uh, PvE mode on their EOD editions. And that's definitely a big win, since we didn't know in the past how long it's going to take for BSG to start rolling PV out to EOD users. Some people said like month or a couple of weeks. The starting tomorrow is good. I just hope that waves will happen often. Maybe like one wave uh, per week or something. And it's not going to take more than a month or like a month and a half or two months to roll PvE to all users. That's what I'm hoping for. Faster insurance return. Eh kind of sounds like pay to win to be fair same as in the um, unheard edition if you have a standard edition you have to wait for like six eight twelve hours to get your insurance back if you have aod it happens faster uh sounds a little bit like pay to win um at least for me you can share your thoughts down in the comments below if you think any of those uh, additions or things are pay to win and if you would love to see them removed Increase personal trader purchase limits by 20%. So if you can buy 100 bullets from Peacekeeper on um, a standard edition, you will be able to buy 120. Uh, once again, it's... Uh, I guess it's a nice pay-to-win edition nobody asked for. It's just... I don't know, man. All right, I, I'm i just going to read through all the, all the notes, I guess. I don't want to... Mm. Increase starting PMC karma after it's implemented. Access to a special stimulant craft. So you'll be able to craft some steams in your hideout. For example, I don't know, mule. You'll be able to craft mule without completing any quests. No clue. Increase charisma skill level. Nostalgia quest line. Uh, nostalgia quest line is somehow related to the development of Tarkov. I think they said this in the Russian... Um, sh I, I think I should check... I should check the Russian um, page notes as well. Well, not page notes, the um, Russian post. Because they said that Nostalgia Quest is related somehow to Tarkov's development. So that's that's a, that's interesting. I wonder what that is. Unique PMC dog tag. All right, gold dog tags for EOD users. Unique EOD armband. Unique item with call-in mechanics. Legacy device. Ability to call in a friendly BTR. And once it's called, the item will go into cooldown. Um... Phew. Yeah, I mean, even though everybody will be able to obtain this item, it sounds like a little bit OP, man. Better, dude, if they, it better be expensive. It better be expensive to call it or whenever it goes into the cooldown, better take, like, I don't know, man, two days to replenish itself. Unique PMC upper and lower clothing. Ability to replace two daily tasks per day for free. Ability to change nickname, icon, and color. Okay. For owners of the standard, prepare for escape and left behind editions. Increase stash size by two lines. All right, that's good. I think that's fair. Ability to purchase access to PvE mode separately. That's a good thing, but it shouldn't be $300. It should be fair price. I mean, as people discussed, as people discussed um, this PvE mode, even though it's like heavy on the servers and everything, it should be like 20, 30, 40. $60 at max. That's what I've seen on the Twitter comments that it shouldn't be more than $60 So let's see what kind of price BG are gonna roll out for the PvE mode. I hope it's not gonna be too expensive uh, For owners of the unheard edition Unique radio electronic item mark of the unheard will be active only in PvE mode So the the radio which makes the scavs friendly at 60 plus meters will be active only in PvE mode good change Unique item distress signal device will be available in both PvP and PV modes. The item must be recharged in hideout using high-end items. So distress signal is an item that allows you to call your Avenger friends in. It is still very concerning for the player base. A lot of people say Tarkov doesn't need this item, nobody asked for it, and it's really OP. Gonna be a cheater heaven because cheaters gonna call their clients after wiping the map or vice versa. Clients gonna call the cheaters to wipe the map for them. 
But at the same time, I mean, I can see BSG implementing a lot of limits and maybe like getting rid of this device overall or nerfing it in a such a way that it becomes um, close to useless. But yeah, once again, this is a very this is a very hot topic. A $50 coupon for Escape from Tarkov purchases, additions, expansions for those who have upgraded from Edge of Darkness to the Unheard Edition with the old price. All right, I guess this is a kind of a cashback, even though you cannot really directly deposit this $50 coupon into your credit card. There are other things that you can do, if you know what I'm saying, with this $50 coupon. Access to the Escape from... Access to the escape from Tarkov Arena for those who purchase the edition at the full price. All right, that is fair. Uh, unique PMC clothing, Cultist Jacket. So if you have the Unheard Edition, you're going to get Cultist Jacket that you can wear. Um, all right, I think we're slowly getting into the territory of uh, more unique skins. Something BG were unwilling to implement. Uh, but they are doing it now. So maybe we will see more skins with, that we can purchase separately in the future. And uh, I hope BG, well, I hope they, they learned the lesson that uh, doing, doing, um, uh, getting revenue from skins from something else that doesn't affect gameplay is a much better choice than adding uh, different items that community will um, hate because they're paid to win. And um, yeah, not gonna go too deep into this. Let's, let's, um, let's move on. Uh, where were we? Unique PMC dog tag for the unheard edition owners. All right, blue dog tag maybe. Ability to change nickname, icon, and color. Okay. For owners of all editions other than unheard edition. Ability to obtain the items mark of the unheard and distress signal device through in game quests. Ability to obtain expanded PMC pockets through in game quests. That's a really. That, that's, that's, that, that's a great thing because before this was available only for EOD users and now they moved this to all editions. So all editions will be able to get expanded PMC pockets. All editions will be able to get the new items. For owners of all editions other than Age of Darkness, ability to obtain legacy device through in-game quest, ability to replace one daily task per day for free. The ping limit in PvE mode will be removed uh, for all editions. We will inform you in advance about the order and the time of appearance of all these changes. Thank you, have a nice day, dev team. Um, so yeah, I wasn't really expecting a post from BSG, to be honest. I think they were kind of done, but it looks like they want to clarify things. So, overall, I guess it's a good post. People are still probably going to be unhappy with the, um, um, with some of the changes and uh, some of the items, like the um, the legacy device that spawns BTR or the, the thing that spawns your teammates in. But either way, um, I hope you enjoyed uh, your stay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts down in the comments below because BG do read those uh, comments, comments uh, hopefully. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.